Here are the starters for the eighth race, second heat of the Philly World Trotting Derby. One Dream Angel scratch from the first. One A Nordic Dish was fifth for Joie de V Farm trainer Paul Boer, driver Luke Ballette. Two Cartier Hall was the winner for owner Joseph Mendelssohn of California, trainer Doug Ackerman, and driver D.R. Ackerman, 155 and 1. Limitless Sky number three, owned by Al Libfeld, Marvin Katz, and Sam Goldband, trained by Chuck Sylvester, driven by Jan John Campbell, was fourth. The four, Norway But My Way, owned by Stein Sole, Joe Sirocco, and Per Clausen, trained by Arald Egan, driven by Tony Morgan, was second. Number five, C.R. Ms. American Pie, was third for owner, trainer, driver Rod Allen of Ocala, Florida. Number six, Chips Tally, owned and trained by Jack Gray, Jr. of Kentucky, was sixth for Kentucky-based driver Jim Robinson. The seven, Malabar Mist, owned by MCB Farm, trained by Jimmy Tactor, was ninth for Malboros in the first heat. Jimmy Tactor will drive in this heat. Number eight, Glide Path, made a break at the start and finished eighth for George Siegel's Brittany Farms trainer Ron Gerfine, driver Mike Lachance. And number nine, Mars Bar, seventh in the opening journey, has been scratched. Post time in six minutes. The second heat of the 22nd annual Philly World Trotting Derby for a purse of $110,000 at the post. The gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Glide Path is away in good order this time. Chips Tally is showing speed. Limitless Sky is going right to the front. And Cartier Hall is going to get the shuffle back into fourth position by the time they enter the first turn. Limitless Sky, who had road trouble down the stretch the first heat, goes right for the lead this time. And Glide Path moves up on the outside, parked in second. Chips Tally in good position third. And there goes Malabar Mist moving up with cover now into the third spot. Cartier Hall is off the rail. D.R. Ackerman doesn't want to get the shuffle again, so... From fifth position, he has Cartier Hall out and driving after a quarter in 27 and two fifth seconds. Then Norway, but my way, who's in the outer flow of traffic, six lengths off the lead, followed by CR Ms. American Pie and Nordic Dish, who trails the field. There goes Malabar Mist up to get the lead before the half by a length and a half, leaving Cartier Hall without cover. That filly still moving up on the outside around Glide Path. Limitless Sky tries to get off the rail, but now she is off stride. Limitless Sky was starting to make a move off the rail, but made a break. Norway, but my way, carefully moves around her. CR Ms. American Pie moves up into fourth. The half much quicker this time, 54 and three-fifth seconds. No easy journey here for Cartier Hall. And that is just what Norway, but my way, and Tony Morgan would like to see as they go by the three quarters. Plenty of pace up front, and Malabar missed his third down toward the inside. The problem, Norway, but my way, has lost her cover. Now here she comes on the outside. CR Ms. American Pie is fourth behind her. Three quarters in 124. Cartier Hall leads Malabar Mist off the turn. CR Ms. American Pie and Norway but my way in between horses. CR Ms. American Pie charging down the center of the racetrack in the final eighth mile to get the lead from Cartier Hall. Norway but my way is third. CR Ms. American Pie has the lead. Cartier Hall is second. Then Malabar Mist and Norway but my way. Here's the line. CR Ms. American Pie sends us to overtime. She takes the second heat from Cartier Hall, 153 and four-fifths. Still waiting for a result of the photo. It appeared that number five, CR Ms. American Pie, reached the wire first. She's in the winner's circle. Rod Allen, CR Ms. American Pie. Result on the infield board, number five, CR Ms. American Pie. I know, Rod Allen, that's what you were wanting to see come up. Rod is flashing a big grin. 
You were moving up at the half with cover when the half came up in 54 and 3. That had to be exactly what you and the rest of the guys coming from the back of the pack wanted to see. Talk about that final quarter mile. Uh, last quarter was a little tough, you know, going two heats like that. You hate to drive on them too much. You'd like to win, but you don't want to abuse them either, knowing you got to come back for another heat. So you got to be a little conservative down towards the wire if there's a, such a thing. Were you surprised? I was surprised, and a lot of people, I think, were. Cartier Hall had a pretty tough trip, and I thought your filly was going to put her away off the final turn. Did it surprise you that she came back and finished that close? Yeah, that filly's really improved. Uh, I mean, she was real good last year, but I've watched her race a little bit this year, and she hasn't had a lot of starts, and she hasn't had a lot of tough competition. Probably not staked that way, but it's, uh, it's good to have a good race off. Any thoughts on the race off? No, not right now. I just, you know, I'm good friends with Dougie, and I owe him a a steak dinner already. I hope I don't owe him another one after this is over. Well, we'll wish you and uh, DR the best of luck. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Rod Allen, he's our winning driver in the second heat of the Philly Trotting Derby. It's official. Number five, CR Ms. American Pie was first. Number two, Cartier Hall was second. Those two heat winners will come back at the end of the day for a two-horse race-off to settle this issue. The seven, Malabar Mist, was third, and the four, Norway But My Way, was fourth. 